Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Julius D. Berry with Majestic Studios. Uh, just had a quick, quick, quick video that I wanted to get posted um, for something uh, that I actually learned about um, with one of my other interfaces, and it was one of the first things that I wanted to learn how to do with the Antelope system, and um, I think it's pretty cool. Didn't see anything about it online, so wanted to make a quick video to show it to you guys. Um, just the, it's very simple um but the concept is just basically based on uh routing your computer audio into your uh antelope interface um, that way you can um assign the audio to uh different channels you can send it to headphone mixes if your musicians are needing to listen to a playback from like a youtube video or itunes song you can uh put the uh track or the music or the sounds whatever it is in your um, in your mixer in one of the mixers in your uh, uh, control panel and I think it's pretty cool um, so I wanted to show that to you guys real quick uh, basically one of the first things you want to do um, you want to go to um, audio and MIDI setup and from there you're going to click on uh, whatever antelope interface it is that you have uh, so for me, it's the Goliath and then you go to make sure you have output selected you go to configure speakers and Then from here you're going to make sure it's on the stereo configuration There are a couple other choices you can pick from go to stereo configuration and then you could select any one of the channels that you have available um, From your interface for me. I like to pick the last two for some reason, uh, but these are basically just virtual tracks um, So they're not going to take away from your track count um, well, they will take away from your recording track count, but um, you know, 63 channels that's that's plenty to get done. What you need to get done, so I just put mine the left side on 63, um, and then the right side on 64. Or if you want to put yours on two other tracks, just try to probably remember to put the odd number on the left, and then the number immediately after that, which will be the even number on the right. Then you click apply, and what that does is it routes all of the audio output from your computer to for me channel 63 whatever channels you select here it routes the audio to those channels so then you close out of this and then if you go into the routing section on your uh for your your interface you would just go to like if you're using for me i'm using thunderbolt playback so if you're using usb playback you would just pick whatever channels it was that you selected those channels will be available uh, for you to select in that last screen that we just did but remember we did channel 63 and 64 so I just highlight 63 hold shift highlight 64 and then I drag those channels um, you can if you want to hear them just you know from your computer while you're in your, your studio you drag those channels down to the main monitor mix and that will allow your computer audio to come out of your uh, your main monitors but you can also select these and you can drag them down to one of the mixer channels uh, so for me like channel 63 and 64 I just put it right here and now all of my computer audio will come to uh, um, the mixer channel 1 and 2 in my um, in my system if that makes sense uh, let's see so like if I was to play a YouTube video right now, let's just, um, gonna open up YouTube and gonna play, um, I'm just going to, well I don't want to have any copyright infringement, so I'm just gonna go to, um, one of my videos, um, One of the videos I did the other day, the Goliath unboxing video. So as you see. What's up everybody? Julius Z. Just turn in Justice. We just wanted you to see that. So the video now, you see the audio is coming up on these channels right here. Channel 63 and 64, as you can see right here. Uh, and so now I can take the audio from 
those channels and it's in my mixer now um, I could send those to um, you know other headphone mixes for other musicians um, if I want to record those channels again just select 63 and 64 and I could go to uh, I could drag them down to um, the record channels here uh, there's just a lot of stuff that you could do with them from there but that's a cool little thing that I learned from my other interface and um, I thought it was uh, very neat needful it helped me out a lot um, and I was able to uh, have my computer audio mixed in with some other things um, so I just wanted to show that to you guys I hope it helps um, if you have any questions uh, please post them in the comment section below uh, like and subscribe and I should have uh, my routing video coming up pretty soon now um, I'm understanding this thing um, it's 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 so dope it's pretty simple but I just want to be there to help you guys out if you need any help so we'll be on the lookout for the routing video coming soon hope this helps see you later